Or I called against the Red Hawks. But uh, I feel like that Festival of Foods is a shady operation, if you ask me. Definitely not up to the par of a Piggly Wiggly. So, shop at Festival Foods. My advice to you is don't. And that's all I'm going to say about that issue. Shop the pig. And Milton and Edgerton. Anyways, this is still a midfield battle. Milton trying to provide some uh, pressure up top. Ben Z doing what he did before. He's caused a lot of problems back there. A little shaky on the Stolten's defensive part. They're able to just clear it. Possession regained for the Red Hawks as they're going to play all the way back to Noel Rickman. Beautifully plays that to Logan Servin. One thing that I am glad to see right now, it seems like the past five Milton minutes, Milton has just played the ball kind of more towards the middle, and they're working in the middle. Or if they have it on the side, they're working, they're switching the field, so at least they're not just trying to go up and over every time. It's a good job there. Oh, good nutmeg there by Lil Robinson, playing it to Alfonso Lopez. Lopez wisely finds Mikey Kinnair, who finds Ben Z. Just a good combination triangle right there by the Red Hawks. Now they're going to switch the field for Deshae Fry. This was, oh, that was an excellent piece of passing by the Red Hawks there. And good pressure there by Grayson Hammer. Nickname is Graymar. Definitely feel like you could give Neymar a run for his money on the Brazil team if you wanted to. Milton regains there, but a good piece of play. All starting back from Rickman going to Mike, or uh, going to Logan, and then they play it around to Mikey. And once again here, they play it again. They're doing a good job with this triangle passing. Lil Robinson has it now, working it towards the corner flag. Stops, gets it to his strong foot, in for a cross. Lopez with a good flick and just goes just over the bar. Milton, good solid bit of play here for the past three minutes. That was a beautiful job there. Lil Robinson switching it to his strong foot. Lil Robinson is a lefty. Played it in. Alfonso Lopez with a great job of flicking it. Or one thing you do want to try, though, is when you're heading it, you want to get your forehead going down on the ball. He had lifted it up. Just went just over the bar, though. Literally everything you could do right there. Oh, a good move, though, by Lil Robinson. No one there to get it. But the Red Hawks still have possession of it. Lopez gets it around one guy, plays it to Mikey Kinnair, doing a good job of pushing up. Here comes the cross. This is exactly what the Red Hawks have to do. They can definitely, or I feel like at their strongest, when they work it towards the corners and then cross it in towards the middle. I know they don't have the tallest group of guys in there, but these guys also know how to get runs and get open as Lopez is going to play it in. Plays it back to Lopez, probably too strong of a pass there by Kyle Larson. It's one thing that the Red Hawks just really, ever since our team, their uh, corner plays haven't been that great. Like, it's a good idea. Uh, however, it seems like uh, someone always seems to have too hard of a touch or a pass. So that's why it doesn't work out very well. Lopez called for the foul there. One thing that I feel like Fani has to do is grow out his hair again. I mean, the short hair looks fine on him and all, but... I'm used to seeing him with long hair. I don't like this uh, short hair stuff, but whatever works for you is Xander gets taken out along the sideline. It's going to be a Fort Atkins or a Stoughton throw in. It's good stuff, though, by Grayson Hammer right there. Ball's well, going to go out of play for another Stoughton throw in. Long throw there, and Rickman right there to get it. A wasted opportunity there by Stoughton Vikings. Don't know really why the long throw was needed. There was really no one making a run there. And no one behind the Red Hawks defense, and Rickman was right there. Just approaching the 30-minute mark here. So far, I would say possession has been Milton 60, Stoughton 40%. But definitely a good job, though, by the Red Hawks. They've, their passing has been really strong at times, which kind of like they were in the Beaver Dam game. Their passing has been really strong at some points. However, there are moments where they do lack quality passing. But so far, a good game by the Red Hawks. I see 
they can get another goal in, another couple in, possibly break the Stoughton team. It's Logan with a good run there. If it would have been handled a little bit better, they definitely had him on a run. They're going to play it up and over. There's Benzie trying to get it. Benzie able to get it there. Good little flick on, though, by number seven of Stoughton. Nicholas Nolan. Throwing here for the Red Hawks. And that ball is going to be cleared away. Xander goes to flick it on. Mikey there. Red Hawks doing a good job, too, of keeping their defense up and not creating a lot of space between them and or giving Stoughton to work with space in the midfield. It's been a good job by them. As that ball's going to be played back, Gerard, not the strongest touch, but Rickman is going to give that ball a friendly push and uh, get it past the midfield mark as Dershay Fry has it contained for the Red Hawks as... I believe that's Andrew Thomas is in the game. For the Red Hawks, yeah. 95% sure that's Andrew Thomas, but at the same time, all high schoolers pretty much look the same to me now. So, at Stoughton, looking for something there, but Rickman comes up and gets it. Trying to look for something up over the top there. Not really, it really hasn't been working so far. Really isn't going to work with Milton trying to go, is what we call it, boom ball. Uh, especially with Milton being so good at passing in pressure. I don't think that's their best strategy to win this game, but they get a turn. Not really a turn over there, but number nine still has it. Plays it back in, and that shot's going to go wide. Number nine went down to the ground. I don't know if he was trying to draw a call there, but no call given, as there shouldn't have been. And this can be a goal kick for the Red Hawks. And I am also now being joined by alum of Milton Soccer and um, multimedia coordinate and pretty much uh, the man that keeps Milton running, Tim Hall. How are you doing today, Hall? Hey, Callahan Steve. Thank you for having me. This is definitely an upgrade over Cowley, and I will tell him that as soon as I can. Well, I don't think we want to rub that in any time soon here. <laughs> Mikey's going to get that throw on. So what do you think of the Red Hawks so far? How do you think they've been passing and everything? So far, so good. They've had some really, like, unexpected strikes that came out of nowhere. It's been exciting to watch. Yeah, Logan had the solid one right in the middle. Fani had that good little flick on. Nick Robinson, dangerous from the outside. It's mm -hmm. looking good. Now, what do you think you've seen from Stoughton so far? I feel like they've been a little shaky in the back and not... A haven't had a whole lot of possession to work with, but what are your thoughts on Stoughton also being a former coach as well, too? I would like to point that out. I'd say the inconsistency is definitely hurting Stoughton. Um, they're, they're pressuring at times, and then other times when they really need to be, they're not pressuring. And then when they're moving the ball around the back, they're, uh, they're definitely inconsistent with that as well. And, yeah, they're choosing some weird times to possess and then some strange times to actually get rid of the ball here. Like this guy right now, dribbling. He should be getting rid of that ball, moving it around a little bit more. That's uh, number 17, uh, Quinlan Link, clearly do, uh, clearly being the weakest link there. I do like seeing Nate Girard here getting his head on the ball. Um, he's never been a big fan of 50-50 balls, but to see him challenge for that up in the air, that's good. Is Nature Hard going for that one as well, too? Kind of plays it off, though. Not the best touch on that. This guy's got some skills with his feet, but he's dribbling a little bit too much here. Milton up still 1-0 with the Ben Z goal. Would like to see him obviously put in another one. I feel like they've had enough opportunities to so far. Logan going to be called with a handball there as that ball kind of just bounced up on him unexpectedly here. And Callahan Seed, as a former goalie, what are you thinking right now as they're setting up the kick? Well, one thing... Well, it's too far out where you want to make a wall or anything. They're going to try uh, drilling that in with a bunch of guys. Uh, one big thing that you want to make sure is just everyone has a guy. Uh, is that ball is going to go over. 
the net that was good pressure there by Fani. but one thing you want to do is probably just match up everyone by height and make sure you have a guy that's uh has uh ball like you have everyone mark a guy and then you have one guy designated for ball i remember that was always be cowley cowley would always be the guy that would go up and win the 50 50 ball and then you just have to make sure you get all the tall guys in the back make sure they're lined up with everyone so that's probably what ricky did there and did a good job of it as it's now going to result in a goal kick for the red hawks And I guess as a former coach, what's one thing that you're looking on that the Red Hawks should try to do with these last uh, just over 10 minutes uh, to play here in the first half? What do you think well, they should try to work on? I mean, they're they're up 1-0 right now, but really, if they want to make sure that they continue the momentum into the second half, they should definitely be pushing the pace. Looks like they're about ready to make an attack here. A little miscommunication, but I'd be pushing the pace and try to settle in another one here uh, before half. And that's just going to leave a real sour feeling in, uh, for Stoughton. Definitely. I feel like if Stoughton can just keep this one nothing, I feel like it would kind of be a small victory for him. But if you put in another one right before the half, could definitely be devastating for them. It's a good little bit of combination play there by the Red Hawks. They've had good, solid passing for just little triangles, just working it around. That's when they've looked the strongest as they've got their Shea there. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that offside call. He was a couple steps off before that play started. He started his run a little bit early, but like you said, great possession in the middle there. They're definitely working the triangle around. Um, Logan Servin, definitely a key to that as he is uh, commanding a lot of that play, moving that ball around, stepping up into the space, and uh, just making things happen. Uh, that's definitely one thing that you got to like about having Logan back there. Logan, a very sound technical player very good with his foot skills i know uh beginning of the tryouts whenever milton has their uh, tryouts and uh with uh their touches and everything logan's definitely at the top for skill points so it's definitely good to at least have someone back there that has solid skills to at least definitely at least in the midfield too it's good to have so this is going to be a free kick here for stoughton looks like they're going to be pushing a lot of people up yeah, they don't seem to have really picked up their tempo yet. I'm kind of surprised. They're down one goal. We're coming up into the into the final minutes of the half here. Um, I would think they'd be really pressuring hard right now, and they've been pretty lackadaisical. Yeah, lethargic, I think, is a good word, too, as that ball's going to be shot. And Rickman able to knock that out. I know he definitely wanted to try catching that one there, but... Yeah, he's going to be disappointed with that, pushing it wide. Um, not a good idea at this time in the game coming up in the half to give up a corner kick like that. All right, here comes the corner kick for Stoughton. They had a dangerous one earlier where it almost was an own goal for the Red Hawks, and that's another good long one up in the air. Number 38 had it. Still has it now in the corner. Goes across it, and he's got number 15. Number 15 would have had a wild attempt there. Really wasn't set up with his legs. But yeah, luckily uh, Dershay stepped in there, kind of broke up that play, helping out on defense a little bit. It's always good to see as Dershay back there again. That time clears it. It's a good job there. I know definitely coaches want to see their forwards getting back and helping out on defense. And now Milton looking. They do a good job there slowing it down. So, oh. Robinson on the nice diagonal run there. He was all set up to go through the middle, but um, then it gets put over the top. That'll work. I feel like one thing that the Red Hawks have tried to do so much too far, or have done too much of so far, is trying to go up over the top. They really haven't. I don't think like that's just their strength. I think their strength is just playing it more towards the corner and letting someone like Lil Robinson or Deshay have it, because they're both really sound technical players. So. I don't know why they're just trying to go up top and trying to uh, out sprint them towards the goal. Grayson has a shot go wide there, but nice good shot. to see Grayson, though, at least take an attempt. Yeah, I think uh, Fani had the right idea there. He's uh, attacking on the dribble, trying to, trying to move through one of the gaps there. Um, but it'd be fun to see Robinson do the same thing, and then it'd be fun to see Ben Z on the diagonal at least make a penetrating run between the defense um, you know, that chip uh, coming out of midfield is handy once in a while, but I'd like to see some creativity out of these forwards here. Oh. A 
That's been a good. Oh, oh Lil Robinson. Great yeah. Great run. Oh, just didn't get that second touch there. Lil Robinson read that pass like a book. But uh, it's just been very Fonny. dangerous with that group of Mikey, Fani, and Lil Robinson over there. They've had done excellent work so far tonight. Yeah, I think as the game goes on, they're going to um, kind of forget about Dershay, and that's going to be dangerous for them if the defense doesn't mark him um, because he's a pretty good technical player. He's got some good foot skills. If they leave him unmarked, he's going to become dangerous. Alec uh, revolves now in the game. Does a good job of working around a couple guys. Has to get rid of it, though. He's been dancing around a little bit with it, I feel, too long. They get it to Fani, though, in the middle. Good space, though, far. Good job working it by the Red Hawks. Switching the fields there. Mikey goes for a cross. It's going to be caught, though, by the keeper. Yeah, and I think he was looking to bend that in a little bit to Dershay and just kind of mishit it. But definitely a good idea, though, at least. It's a nice touch there. A little wide there. And they called Gerard there for a foul. I believe that would be for obstruction. Looks like Gerard wasn't going to be able to win that foot race. Kind of stepped in front of the guy there, but slows down the attack. It's going to allow Milton to get set up here. So far, the ref is calling a pretty close game here. I mean, he's Johnny on the spot with all the calls. He's got great presence. Um, very confident of what's going on out there. Seems to have command of the game. Yeah, I was talking so far. It seems like they got a good crew. I remember, I mean, the guy closest to the field, or I mean, closest to the stands is pretty good ref, too. It's dangerous there, and well, the Red Hawks able to clear it. So, I mean, haven't seen anything wrong so far. Ben Z doing what he does best there. Being stingy, gets around a guy. Oh, He's got Lil Robinson. Oh, Robinson is just waiting for the play. He's onside there. He's making the approach. He cuts it back. Ooh. Oh, and a shot just wide. That was a nice shot. He's got to get it over to that left foot yeah. of his. That's what he likes to pull the trigger with. Left foot. And he also should have went left side, too, on that goal. The keeper had that uh, near post pretty much marked well and tight. Uh, ball able, uh, however, though, goes wide. Goal kick, though, for Stoughton. Stoughton lucky there on that one. Good bit of counterattack, though, by the Red Hawks. So it's pretty good. Wide open down the middle. If he gets a good touch on this, he could have some opportunity. Oh, he just doesn't get the touch he's looking for. Goes out of bounds. Though Low Robinson, or no, Mikey's going to take this throw in. It's going to allow Low Robinson to push up more. Yeah, like you said, Cal, that little triumvirate there, they just keep working the ball around. Yeah, I mean, Stoughton really hasn't done anything to stop it. It just seems like they either got one right back or a right or I mean one left back or one left mid over there, but they really haven't done much to stop it. Obviously three and one, they're definitely not gonna win that battle. But I mean the Red Hawks have also done good too. Stoughton when they've tried passing it, they've just never really gotten it passed from the defense to their uh, midfield as a good little find there for Andrew Thomas by Fani, who rips the shot and that's gonna go wide. But I mean Stoughton really hasn't been able to go up to the next level, get it to their midfield at a nice easy pace. The Red Hawks have been there attacking right away. I feel like that's one thing that they've done really good at. I think Stoughton's got the idea of what they want to do, but they uh, their passing has never been very strong, and uh, the consistency on that really hurts them. Like, when we saw them down earlier offensively in the corner, trying to get some uh, offense going against Rickman and Goal, um, again, same thing, their passes bouncing all over the place. It's hard to get a good first touch, and uh, that just slows down their gameplay enough to really take the sting out of it. That was a good run there by Logan. Logan's done, a, all the midfielders have done a pretty solid job of at least one of them pushing up and getting a run and kind of being a dangerous, uh, being in a dangerous position for Stoughton trying to defend against. They really haven't had an answer for that as well, too. So this appears to be a throw in for, I believe, the Red Hawks. Or, yeah, Red Hawks can get it. Alex can get it in the middle. I believe Alec came in for Andrew Thomas. Ball is going to be cleared away, kind of more towards the midfield. And Stoughton now kind of has it more towards the middle, working it towards the end of the field. 
And Xander is going to clear that ball away. We're coming up on the uh, last minute of gameplay pretty quickly here. And uh, Stoughton's in a position where they could try to equalize here. Ball's going to be towards the middle of this opportunity. Number 23 still has a shot. And the, as you said before, the passing and touches hasn't been that great. They play it up over. Well, that was a dangerous play there. Rickman, if that ball would have been headed, it could have... Yeah, Rickman came out, I feel like, a little too early. And, I mean, he wasn't in the position to go up and get it. He got lucky that the kid wasn't able to go up and get it. And missed time to just jump, pretty much. But Lil Robinson doing a good job there, coming back and help out, too. Allows the Red Hawks to work it around. He's making a great run right now, but they didn't see him coming up the right side there. He's really building that run up, Robinson was. I think uh, I think at this point it's uh, it's fair to say he's no longer little Robinson as his brother has graduated and he's the one Robinson on the team right now. I think he's now the man, D. Robinson. <laughs> D. So Robinson, all right. D. Robinson. The ball is going to be played, middle flicked on. That's going to go wide, and that's probably going to take us to the end of the half. And Rickman's going to let this uh, time wear out, and it's going to be one nothing Milton Redhawks at the end of one. This is a Red Hawk Media Production. We'll see you in the second half. All right, everybody, welcome back to the second half action. Just about to get underway here. Uh, unfortunately, it's just going to be me up here right now to start off second half. Thanks to Hall for coming up here and helping out. It was pretty solid banter that we had. Fortunately, I found out, though, that we uh, missed Benzie's goal. We had a little bit of technical difficulties and didn't start until literally after he scored. So, Benzie, you handsome son of a gun, I apologize for that. Uh, so, basically, recap so far, Benzie... Ben Z was able to uh, knock in a goal five minutes. He uh, had good pressure in the back, created a turnover, caused the Red Hawks to score. But the Red Hawks have had, I would definitely say, they've been the superior team so far in wise the passing ability and just possession. Stolen has looked kind of lethargic so far. Uh, so far, second half, they've done a little better coming out of the gate. Milton's just kind of working it around the back, doing what they do best. Gerard plays it back to Ricky. The handsome keeper in net, as I like to call him, plays it to Logan Servin. Not able to get all the way there, but Lopez is able to get it. Tries to go in between two Stoughton players. And I don't know why the ref just didn't let him play on there, but foul called though on Lopez there for being a little too aggressive. This is going to lead to a Stoughton free kick. If I'm the Red Hawks, definitely want to put in a goal early to try to bury this team. Logan there with the header. I feel like Milton's just been the solid team. If they put a goal in right away, I feel like that'll definitely bury Stoughton. Number five though for Stoughton. He's going to try slotting it in. No one really there. Kind of hard for him to get there. A lot of slipping going on so far. It hasn't rained much or anything, so I don't know why the field would be crap. And uh, ooh, goalie just able to get it over a uh, I believe that was Ben Z. Manny Diaz started off this game, um, however, ended uh, right away, I don't know what happened, but just had a misstep and ended up leaving the game on crutches, and that was about a minute in. Ben Z was actually on the bench, so uh, definitely not the start the Red Hawks wanted to. I know injuries have been a concern. You have guys like Andrew Vaghi nursing an injury, so it seems like every day someone new get, seems to get injured. Hopefully, we wish Manny a quick and speedy recovery. I know those are the same two words, but you know, whatever, I don't care. Kyle Larson's going to get that. Milton's passing has been, for the most part, pretty solid. There's just been a couple of miscommunications where they've had guys looking to make runs and they've played it to the other side. But uh, definitely has been Milton dominating so far. As I, I stated earlier, I feel like this is just kind of a must win for the Red Hawks. You got a lot of contention up in the Badger South so far this year. Uh, Monona Grove appears to be very good. They uh, beat Oregon uh, last Tuesday, I believe, um, in Monona Grove. So, you know, they're definitely... Right now, if the season ends today, I believe they 
they would win if they can win out. Uh, they would hold the tiebreaker over Oregon. But then Oregon, you know, is going to be very good as well too. Uh, never s really feel like they're ever going to step off. And then you got Madison Edgewood in the D3 ranks. Uh, we're actually ranked top 10. I don't know if they're still ranked there, but uh, last week they were in the top 10. So obviously they're making some noise down in D3. Now with, I mean, believe Milton has to go up to Edgewood this year. Wasn't the strongest pass there, but Logan able to get it. So definitely a lot of contention in the Badger South. And obviously you can't take Monroe or Fort Atkinson lightly is a good job there by Milton. Three guys getting to the ball, and that's going to cause a turnover. Alec gets it, plays it to Alfonso Lopez. Now, I believe the remaining home games for the Red Hawks, they only have, they have the Milton invite, and then they have Youth Night against Monroe, and then they have uh, Senior Night against Oregon, and I believe that is it, at least for home games for right now. Hopefully they can get a playoff game or two here, because that'd be nice. Obvious, uh, WIA, as uh, Stoughton plays it ahead here, Rickman coming out, just able to get to it. Luckily, had the ball had some side spin, but good look there by Stoughton playing it over the top. Normally, that hasn't really worked out for them. But now they're coming out second half, guns a-blazing. They have it, give it to number nine. He's going to rip the shot. Rickman able to pounce on that like a young kitten pouncing on a ball of yarn. Good job there, Ricky. Stoughton looking very dangerous the past couple minutes. So Milton obviously definitely want to win this game. Definitely want very few home games so far for the Red Hawks. So... And as I was about to say, uh, WIA changing up their uh, format in the years past. They've done uh, two one through eight brackets, but now uh, now it'd be Madison, Madison area teams, and then you have South teams. Now it's just one big field, uh, one through sixteen. So Milton in the past has used to play Oregon very late, but now they might draw, might get them a little bit early. Definitely want to avoid that. For the Red Hawks. So this cross is going to be played in. Dershay is going to chase that down. One thing I'd like to see is Dershay try to get a little more active here in the second half. As much as it was good seeing uh, Little Robinson, Mikey, and Alfonso just working along beautifully along the sideline. Uh, they can't forget about Dershay along the other side. He's too good of a player to leave out of the equation. It'll be a throw in for the Red Hawks. Mikey throws it in to Alec. He's been manning the midfield spot. Ooh, and Alex going to be called for the foul there. Kind of gave a little bit of a shoulder there. And here comes the kick. Ball's going to be flicked on. Logan trying to fight for it. He's going to clear that ball away. I believe that's Andrew Thomas. Ooh, great little flick on there. Ooh, that was uh, number two. That was Mikey, I believe. Yeah, Mikey ran into a brick wall, known as a Stoughton defender there. But, uh... No call given. Red Hawks settling it down now in the back. It's one thing the Red Hawks cannot do with Stoughton coming out very much, uh, coming out not lethargic like they did in the first half. Milton can't try playing at 100 miles an hour. I feel like whenever they do that, they aren't the same team. As Alec is able to get to that, plays it wisely back to Rickman. Rickman slows the game down. And he plays it to Xander and Milton doing what they do best, working around the horn back there, switching it around. I heard one parent at the Beaver Dam game say, play it forward and stop playing it backwards. That's not how Milton should play it, and that's definitely good when you see Milton just passing it back. Obviously, you know, you got to figure out times to attack and when not to attack. So at least Milton has that down where the notch is playing boom ball. As kid from Stoughton... There's a nice little slot there. Oh, and he went down. Oh, I do not like that call. I do not like that call at all. 
feel like he slipped over the ball, and this is going to be a penalty kick, as it looks like I'm going to be joined again by Tim Hall. Perfect timing, Hall. Callahan Steed. Yep. Coming Good. here at a Rickman penalty kick opportunity to save. Now Rickman's uh, notoriously got some wingspan here, so let's see what, what he can do with that, and then we'll talk about that call. And here's the shot, and that's a goal. Yeah. That's one thing that you gotta try to do with the keeper. It's just a 50-50 shot. I always just try to pick a spot right away and just go for it. I don't try to look at their eyes or anything. I just pick a shot, pick a spot that he's gonna try to play it and go. But still able to capitalize with the goal there. Yeah, they definitely worked uh, worked the ref on that play. They got into the box and uh, held possession of the ball long enough to get the call they were looking for. Um, I can see from the ref's perspective what he was thinking there. He wants to get control of the game there. Um, down through the middle of the field throughout the last play and the buildup of the play, there's been some pretty good contact. Definitely Soton's getting more chippy. And uh, he just want to kind of keep that under wraps here. But this is now a one-to-one -one game. I was kind of talking earlier, if Milton, if Milton can put away a goal here in the second half, it would kind of bury their chances, but now it appears... 1-1 one, one game, new brand, brand new ball game for Stoughton. Probably new life for him as well, too. Let's see what Milton can do. Yeah, you can uh, definitely see a little bit more energy out there now. Stoughton's moving a lot more. Everybody's talking a little bit more. Definitely the enthusiasm has picked up quite a bit. Yeah. Especially, too, it helps with that penalty kick. I don't know if I would have called it. I feel like the kid just kind of more slipped on the ball. Logan was definitely unhappy with the call, but, I mean... It's so whatever, but no. It is, and Milton's now got to just come back with it. I mean, they've just got to answer with a goal of their own, and uh, we'll see if they can do that here. Yeah, one thing that I was talking a little bit about, too, is that Milton can't get caught up in trying to go 100 miles an hour. I feel like that's one thing that they've done a lot this year. Beaver Dam or the alumni game, they get caught up, and I don't know if it's just pressure or what, but they're trying. then they start just trying to literally play at 100 miles an hour, and that's not Milton's style. So we got to see them try at least work it around, slow the game down. As Logan's going to play this in. And if Somebody's rolling around on the ground down there for Stoughton. He got the wind knocked out of him there, and we're getting a yellow card. Who got the yellow there? Xander, I believe. Xander Fiebig got the yellow card. He's no stranger to the yellow card, but I did not see what happened there. Maybe being too handsome. Xander is a pretty handsome fella, so I don't know. Maybe that caused the guy to fall down, but I don't know if uh, he just tripped the guy, if they ran into him, but Xander's going to have to go out here. That's, uh, you're speaking from personal experience, Callahan. I have a feeling ruggedly handsome, causing <laughs> people to fall down. Yes. <laughs> All right, excellent. So back to the game. We're, uh, we got the yellow against Xander Feebig, and now Milton has a kick. And we're uh, lined up at the top of the box here. We've got all of the uh, all of our scorers at the top. Uh, we got Nate Gerard kind of camping out in the middle, and then we've got Mikey holding the fort down in the back. No, I don't know if that was before the free kick started or what, but I don't understand how Milton can get the ball back after uh, fouls called on us. But ref knows more than I do, obviously. Slogan's so gonna play that in. Oh. Oh, they got a shot there, and that ball is going to be collected by the keeper. They definitely had a moment there. That was a good uh, kick by Logan there. Got it in the middle of the penalty box, and, I mean, stuff could cause Ooh, a bad touch there by Gerard. It's going to leave Logan back there, and that's going to be a shot, and that's going to go wide. And the Stoughton is not happy about that. He had a wide open net there. He had left and right. All he had to do was tuck it away, and he goes over the top with that. Yeah, lately, if you would have just picked the other corner, uh, I don't think Ricky would have been able to get to that. Logan tried his best there, tried slowing him down. Really didn't uh, give him a good or gave him a pretty good angle to get off his shot. Don't know how he wasn't able to finish it. But Stoughton just coming out firing second half. Red Hawks are kind of, I feel like, shell shocked right now. Yeah, who was on the outside that had the miscue on the touch there that uh, brought that into the middle? Was um, that Mikey on the outside, or was uh, that yeah, shifted over? I probably tell. Mikey. Okay. Well, I mean, or Gerard was the one that had the mistouch. Yeah. And then they brought Logan back uh, for the other center back, so they just slid the guys around, and then I feel like they put...
Kyle are in the middle as well too. So Wagner doing a lot of switching around with Xander getting that yellow. Uh, and Wagner's not going to be happy about that pass. He always talks about that flat pass going across the back. And it, that right there, case in point, it's really easy to pick up. Fani was under instant pressure. And it's just, it's not a reliable pass. That pass has got to be more of an angle penetrating into the middle of the field. And uh, yeah, just got to maintain that shape there. Yeah, uh, good job there by Logan. This time shutting off the angle on the shot. Kid was the new able to get the shot off there as it goes out of play. Stoughton quickly gets it in. It's a good job there, I believe, by Ben Z to ben clear Z. that. A lot of hustle there. He saw the short play developing and stepped in. And Ricky's going to come out and get that. Big throw there. He's got Dershay there. Dershay's got some room. I want to see him open it up here. She's going to play it back to the keeper who wisely just goes for the long clearance. I've been uh, curious to see Dershay because I often hear about his technical skills with his feet. I want to see if he's going to have that physical presence, though, at the varsity level, throw his body around, be able to win 50-50 balls. And uh, right there, that was a great opportunity for him. He's going to have to be more physical for that ball. That is one thing. It's probably just because, I mean, he's so young, too. really probably doesn't know a lot about the varsity scene. Give him, I feel like you give him one or two years, he's definitely probably going to become a lot more stronger. I mean, that was one thing we were talking about at the alumni game. If he be become stronger more physical up there definitely could be a presence up there for the Red Hawks on offense yeah he, I mean he's got the frame for it. he's definitely tall enough now if he can add on a little bit of strength uh, I think he'll be in good shape well there we go that's a good challenge oh and he's got low Robinson too in the middle if he wants it looks like he's gonna slow it down good little cut back there yeah, oh he's got on the diagonal too he's got Ben Z on the diagonal good job there by Kyle Larson continuing the pressure and it looks like Stoughton's gonna be able to escape dropping it all the way back to Ricky. We're going to reset and restart building this up again. Stoughton though quickly uh, trying to pressure. Alex slips there. They had the opportunity there to go for a little triangle. Good little combination though play there. Ball a little too far away. Rickman able to come out and slide and get it. That was a good job there by Rickman. Yeah, Alec, uh, Alec Revels, a uh, clever little dribbler there. I gotta just release the ball a little bit sooner. I mean, he's creating a lot of opportunities by moving uh, Stoughton around, but he's gotta get rid of that ball just a little bit quicker. Kyle Larson goes up, heads it nicely to the, the Robinson now, as I try to remember that name. A good job. Good job. He gets around a couple of guys there. Probably would have had to release it, though. I mean, you can get around one guy, but at the same time. Ooh, good job, though, by Alec. By reading that, got to get rid of it there. A bad challenge in the back there, pushing Alec off of the ball. Probably a good idea. We had some momentum there. And now, Logan Servant, probably the biggest foot on this, on this team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's definitely a guy that you want taking the free kicks. Uh, knows how to either place it or just uh, hit it hard. So let's see what he tries to do here. If he tries going, gonna go up over the top. Their Shea was there. Oh, it looks like, ooh, ooh yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest move by Little Robinson. That's gonna be yellow for the shoulder. Oh. And again, I don't know, Little Robinson. He uh, he tackled pretty hard there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't the smartest challenge. I mean, you could definitely see him lower the shoulder there. I don't know if that's just more out of frustration or not, but you definitely have to let him at least cool down a little bit on the sideline. Yeah, that ball was probably going to go out of play anyway, and uh, that would have slowed it down. And now we're slowing it down a lot. We had some momentum going there, and that just kind of brings Robinson out for a play. we got to bring somebody else back in, and then we have to try to work Robinson back into the scene. Coach Wagner is uh, not a fan of the yellow cards. Um, he doesn't like those piling up. So uh, he's not going to be happy about that. Yeah. Uh, they still, let's see here, um, have Xander out too with the yellow card. So now they got Andrew Thomas up top. And you got to remember that Manny Diaz out for the rest of the game. I saw him leaving on crutches at halftime. Started a little bit. So Red Hawks very thin on the bench. That is for sure. Slogan just plays that one up top. Not really a lot to do with there. And that ball is going to stay in play. Dershay, oh, nice. though. Nice little tuck behind the leg there. 
Not the best ball in the world though. Tried splitting a couple of defenders. Probably would have just been better off just holding it or releasing it to someone behind him instead of just trying to force it. I like a farmer up top here. He's got kind of a, a relentless pursuit of the ball. He's not afraid. He will just freight train right into it. And that's kind of fun because uh, he's hungry. He's hungry to get that ball and he's going to make something happen. Stoughton looks for a cross inside. This is dangerous here. And that's uh, going to be a foul called against Stoughton, I believe, uh, pushing the back there. But yeah, one thing that I like about Andrew Thomas up top is, you know, he's kind of a guy that can either play midfield or he can play forward. So definitely a guy you can pretty much plug anywhere. I want to say he's even played defense once or twice. So definitely a utility guy that Wagner would like to have on the bench. Uh, definitely like to see him get a couple more minutes, though. Yeah, he's a very strong player. Um, I mean, physically strong, and he's uh, last year on uh, JV, he just really started to get a good feel for the game. Um, definitely a soccer IQ went up quite a bit, I'd say, during that season. And, um, you know, I think we're going to be seeing more and more of him as he goes here. It's going to be a throw in for the Red Hawks. They got Mikey going to take this throw in. fonny has got it towards the middle. Tries taking a shot with the left foot. Obviously not a strong foot, but that's going to be saved by the goalie. Stoughton. It's going to be a long free kick. Stoughton. Stoughton really hasn't done uh, much of uh, playing out the back. Anything, they've just gone up over the top. I do not know those people at all. Don't know how they know me. Callahan Steed here. I mean, he's a local legend. He's getting recognized from the fans in the stand. Literally, do not know those people. Yeah, and it's that's the way it works when you're a local legend, Callahan. Sometimes people just recognize. Just had you. to awkwardly wave. Someone, yeah. someone came through the drive-through one time too, and they're like, "Oh yeah, is Cal working or whatever?" So I was like, "Oh hi, how are you guys?" And like, I walked away. I was like, "I don't know who those people are." So I mean, literally, just have to do the uh, awkward hi, how are you guys, and just hope <laughs> their name does not come up because that is awkward. Well, anyway, back to the game. Logan is going to take this. And again, he's got a long, long ball here. Um, we never realized exactly how far Logan could kick the ball until we played uh, until we played uh, soccer golf. Um, we got out to uh, one of the local courses and played a little foot golf. And, uh, yeah, and he uh, just shy of almost 100 yards. <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be a foul called against Mikey. As it looks like Xander's getting ready to come back in. That's going over the top there. Stoughton's giving a chase. Stoughton's definitely got some fast guys on their team. I know they can definitely win a foot race or two. That's one thing that, another thing that why Milton can't get into trying to play at 100 miles an hour. They're just not athletically gifted enough to try to beat Stoughton in a foot race. Nice little bit of play there. And I noticed uh, this half, they're definitely attacking Mikey. Um, they're going for that long ball around the outside of him there. And they're keeping it up in the air, hoping that they can kind of sneak that by him. And between Mike and uh, Nate Gerard, there's just that moment where they're not quite connecting and uh, that ball's getting through and it, it is allowing some opportunities for Stoughton. Ball is going to go out of play. Stoughton trying to play uh, more towards the left side. They really haven't tried anything towards the middle or towards the right side. They've just mainly been left side. As you said earlier, yeah, they're just trying to attack Mikey. Let's see. Uh, Red Hawks. Ooh. Takes it, number 20 takes it pretty much right off the side of the head there. Appears to be okay. Drichet's got it. He's going to play it to Logan. Perfect opportunity for the Red Hawks here to switch the field. Not the best pass there by Fani. He had, uh, I believe they got Xander over on the, or no, that's still Mikey. They had Mikey there trying to make a run, but uh, Fani a couple steps behind on that pass. Yeah, we got Xander back into left center here. He's backing up Nate Girard. And then out the, on the outside, number 12, we've got Grayson Hammer. Ooh, nice little bit here by 
Stoughton, Milton though. This has definitely been Stoughton, I feel like, dominating more possession. This ball is going to be in the middle. And they're going to call Mikey for a foul. So I think we got a little extra contact after a few of these plays, and the, uh, the ref is not happy with that, so he's calling another kick for Stoughton. Uh, this is a uh, semi-dangerous position if this guy can float it in here. He, I, don't, I don't think he'd be able to score on Rickman from out that far. Yeah, I don't know why Rickman really has a two-man wall set up. I would just personally rather have those guys in on defense and at least on someone. It's, he's got all the height matched up pretty well there. I know he's got their shade back there. Ooh, oh. Ooh really oh. dangerous there for the Red Hawks. That was a bad touch. I believe that was – I honestly do not know who had it but was unable to clear it. Rickman coming out for that, and he's going to catch it. Milton, very fortunate there that uh, Stoughton, I mean, literally had it about five yards in front of the goal. Don't know how they weren't able to score there. Yeah, that, uh, that was definitely a dangerous play as the ball kind of bobbled around back and forth there. One little flick was all it was going to take to kind of tuck it away. Uh, Milton got to be more aggressive on those 50-50 clears there so that we can get the ball out of danger a lot faster. Ooh, oh, that was, nice touch. Yeah, that was a nice touch there by Xander. And now Dershay's got it. Ooh, oh, I really he's got some room here. Farmer can pressure this. Keep pressuring Farmer. Oh, there we go. And that's what I'm talking about with that fearlessness. He'll just charge right in there. Ooh, nice play by Xander. Ooh, an instant counterattack here. Feeding it down deep and just a little too much. That was a good idea. Yeah. Xander aggressively attacking the ball out of the air there. Right, let's see if Milton's going to be able to regroup here. I know they've been playing wild a little bit here, so we're just approaching 70 minutes, so about 20 minutes still left to go. Looks like Lil Robinson's getting warmed up on the sideline. He'll probably be coming in shortly here. Yeah. Xander there in that last play, a little reminiscent of Nolan Shea, who hardly ever um, collected the ball on the ground. He was always up in the air doing some kind of acrobatics. Fun fact about Nolan Shea, as uh, I'll get back to that in a moment, Milton with an opportunity here. Nolan Shea uh, just had uh, 365, or uh, has gone to the gym uh, once this year, an impressive feat to say the least. I uh, just saw he had an Instagram uh, a little bit ago. It was um, 365 straight days at the gym. And this involved him uh, getting his wisdom teeth out, and I believe... Uh, getting strep throat or something so a great accomplishment by nolan so oh. good job xander being in that uh uh group so good job there <laughs> here comes the free kick for logan oh, puts it up in the air Ooh. Ooh. we go up for the diving header there not a, not enough elevation to get onto the end of it there but that was looking like a good opportunity yeah, I was wondering what uh, Logan was going to do there, if he was going to try to do something on the ground there. Definitely an opportunity, though, with the ball up in the air. I didn't know if it was indirect or direct, but... I was hoping we'd get the all-out layout uh, sailor's dive going for that <laughs> diving header. The Robin Van Persie. Just... Yep. <laughs> just throw everything at it. <laughs> oh, this is looking good. Milton's looking better. Holding on to the ball. Now we're up in the... Uh... Attacking third. The attacking third, that's right. Possessing the ball. We're getting some uh, some touches up here. Fani's going to be able to regain that. Oh, that's good play. He's got a, he's got a great presence on the ball. He's hard to he's hard to move off the Very ball. physical, too, to get off the ball. Uh, and he, uh, yeah, he just doesn't give up on a play either. That was a good job there by Milton. You had many guys swarming the ball. Takes a shot there. I don't know. That was the best shot selection, but definitely pretty close. Miami might as well take it a rip, see if you can catch the goalie sleeping. But Milton, I feel like, had some numbers there uh, on the attack. But, I mean, you've just seen these guys uh, a lot of times just not really uh, letting them get um, really any easy uh, moments together. So you've seen a lot of Milton guys, two or three guys at once, uh, collectively swarming the ball so Milton doing a good job still at doing that is that ball's gonna go out of play 
wasted opportunity on that goal kick there. Yeah, it feels like we're just maybe one pass off of tying it all together for the goal. Um, good possession in the attacking third, moving the ball around, getting lots of touches up there, getting the numbers up, but we're just not connecting on that one dangerous pass that's going to go through that's going to give us goal scoring opportunity. Well, that's oh. a great ball if he can get onto that. Ah. Kyle Larson can keep this in, which he will. Gets around a guy. Nicely plays it to Lil Robinson. A good little combination play there. They're going to call a foul there. I would have just rather had him play on there. It looked like Stone possibly had an opportunity to work with something there, but that's going to slow it down as we just passed the 70th minute mark. It seems like advantage was definitely Stoughton's there. They could have, uh, they could have done something more with that play. And at this point of the game, uh, it's not probably the best idea to constantly breaking up the flow. Ooh, not the hardest pass back to the keeper. Keeper's still able to run on that. And that ball's going to go out of play for a Milton throwing. I'd like to see a little bit more pressure up front there, like challenging the ball, challenging the keeper a little bit more, charging in on those. There's, a, there's always an endless possibility of like forcing mistakes on those. And uh, you just never know if you don't challenge that ball. Yeah. Robinson pulling it back there, that looked great. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't know what, I mean, a keeper half, most of the time, they're just expecting it to be very simple. If you rush them, then that might get them thinking. As Ben Z doing a little something with it there. Stoughton's gonna knock that ball out. And this is gonna be a throw in for Milton, but definitely a great opportunity to knock one in here. Yeah, that's, a, that's another one of those great examples. Ben Z's in a good place to deliver that assist. And uh, he's just not, uh, he didn't get the pass off that he wanted to to uh, find the uh, scorer on the other end. But Milton, it seems, uh, winning more of the 50-50 balls, building up play a little bit more. We're definitely uh, getting more touches than Stoughton at this point. So we've got a little bit of the momentum. Yeah, I would definitely say so too. I feel like... Milton has like regained their composure after uh, allowing the tie to happen so far. But definitely I feel like advantage Milton right now. Probably 55-45 possession as Lil Robinson almost could have done something with that there. As Logan's got it, takes a shot, gets deflected, and Stoughton's going to be able to get that up top. We're going to have to see how many guys they try pushing up. They still got a lot of black shirts back in their uh, third. So Gerard's got this. Wisely plays it back to Ricky. Xander's going to get wide for him. And uh, Rickman's going to play it back up towards the middle. Now Stoughton's got a guy towards the center. Good little play. Ooh, I don't uh, like that call. I don't like that call either. He's got ball. He's got control of the ball. And Stoughton just kind of fell over yeah. his foot there. Yeah, I don't get that call either. Yeah. And now he's not even really placing it where it originally happened, which... I mean, that's good for Milton. However, I mean, if you're going to make a call like that, you should know what's going on. Yes, this is, this is probably going to be a four-man wall that Rickman's going to want set up, get all the guys back in the box, as many as you can. Oh, they, they got one guy uh, on the back half, number 17, unmarked. That's going to go wide, though. That's a good opportunity, a uh, low, hard angle like that. Um, it's something that's challenging for the keeper to see coming through all of those people. Yeah, absolutely. you got to react to it for the last second. Um, Ricky had good placement on the wall, though. He had everything in control. Um, I love to, uh, to watch him work, barking out the commands to all the different uh, defenders and just basically leading back there. Well, let's see. Well, well Stoughton definitely giving him the short opportunity. Kind of. They do have number 17 pushing up, but it looks like Rickman's just going to hit this ball long here. Gets enough elevation under it. He's got Alfonso. Uh, gets a pass around midfield right now. Kyle working on a taller defender. And Alfonso's going to get that ball back. Alfonso has just done a good job this entire game of just getting in there and winning uh, the ball away from the Stoughton guy. Now they got their Shea with an opportunity here. Their Shea crosses it. Oh. That's going to hit the back of the net just over the crossbar, and that's going to be a goal kick, but definitely a good opportunity there. Yeah, and we had uh, we had a few people that were on the back door. We had Ben Z waiting to uh, 
hit the header off of that, and then Nick Robinson was crashing in as well. So had had some people to deliver to. And once again, you see a lot of guys from Milton winning the ball. Logan's going to get it. He's going to play it to Grayson. And right now that ball is going to go back. Xander giving chase. He's just going to play that out. Look, They had a, definitely a guy looking uh, that was definitely going to be right on Ricky right away if he would have tried uh, playing that back. Oh, no, Ooh, no, that no, is going to be an own oh. goal. Rickman slips, and a miscue allows Stoughton to take the lead. I would have liked to see Rickman come out right away and just try to call him off. That was one of the Stoughton's long throws that they like to do. And uh, Rickman just slips on that. And unfortunately, Stoughton has now taken the lead 2-1. to one. And uh, a great example of that kind of nighttime dew coming out here in the grass. And it can just catch you when you least expect it. Um, very easy to slip, and as we saw the ball come off the defender's foot there, it's just a—it's an unlucky touch. Caught it on the outside of the foot, and then ended up uh, popping in. Well, I have to see what Milton. Obviously, no, definitely be in attack mode. They gotta make up the goal. I don't know. I was kind of telling this game early that uh, this I feel like is a must win for the Red Hawks, especially in conference play. A lot of tough teams. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the Edgewood. Appears to be very dangerous. Monona Grove upset Oregon. So definitely a lot of contenders this year. I feel like you definitely got to win, especially against your rivals, to also look good for postseason play too. Now we're going to have to see what Milton can do here in the last under 15 minutes to go. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's sliding in with cleats there. That's what we're getting the call for. Um... Yeah, he needs to he needs to blow the whistle on that one. He should be dropping the card on him. We've had some cards uh, with similar situations. Um, it it'd be good to just kind of set the fair tempo here. Yeah, I mean you could tell Xander right away wanted the call. Yeah, especially when it's a uh, obvious cleats up like that, and I mean that's that's an ankle breaker when they make contact. Derche still fighting hard for it. Little Robinson working with it. And now Stoughton has it. They got the ability to regroup. And now they're attacking. And Gerard plays it back to Rickman. Got Grayson getting wide here. That was a good job there by the Red Hawks to fend off pressure. Now they have the opportunity to push up. It just seems like the Red Hawks are trying to find something to get going. Low Robinson, oh, though. Cool. Now we've got an opportunity. If he can turn the corner and keep his body on the ball here. He's a scrappy guy. That's going to be a goal kick there for the uh, Stoughton Vikings there. But it just seems like Milton is just kind of having a hard time getting up to their forwards in space. Stoughton just kind of packing it in right now, hoping for the best there. It's looking like Dershay's got a little bit of a limp going on here. Um, he's nursing it. I can't tell if it's his right leg or... Yeah, it looked or, like his right leg. I was kind of noticing. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that's nothing serious here. But you can see it in his gait as he's, uh, he's kind of jogging around here. He's kind of walking it out. Maybe he got a little dead leg. That throw in is going to be out of play. Opportunity for the Red Hawks now. They still got around 10 minutes to go. Obviously, it's going to get a lot more aggressive as the game goes on. That ball is going to be headed out of play. So now just Milton's going to start working it up the pitch here. Ooh, nice little play there by Lil Robinson. Still fighting for it. Nearly gets around. There's Shea fighting for it too. Got to be the early touch. We can't let it be bouncing around like that. We got stop a play here. Kyle Larson was on it. What is the what was the ref calling here? I'm not 
not sure. It was a weird time to blow the whistle. Well, now it looks like, yeah. like Sir Shea is going to get attended to. He's going to come off, and it appears that Andrew Thomas is now going to go in the game. And there's Shea, one of the solid players up on offense. Obviously not a good time for him to get injured. Uh, being down 2-1, to one. so now we're going to see what Andrew Thomas can do to fill the place of Deshae up top. And we're heading into uh, the 10-minute mark here left in the second half, so uh, it's, it's going to be a crucial time for the uh, Red Hawks to strike here. And the keeper wisely puts it on the ground. No one really attacking. Someone's got to at least push up on him. Keeper just already trying to waste as much time as he can. Xander just clears it away. That's going to be a throw in for Stoughton now. Yeah, and that's, uh, that kind of clear is going to benefit Stoughton. They're just going to work those seconds off of the clock little by little. We want to get possession of the ball, start moving it forward, and very quickly find those dangerous strikes. Yeah, that's definitely not good right now for the Red Hawks. It's Stoughton just slowly working it up the field, just taking their time right now. They know every second is precious right now. Here comes another throw in. Xander with the head. And they're going to play it back, and they really have no one on that right side right now. And now they're going to get it here. Stoughton wins it back. And I don't know, I feel like Gerard probably should have just hung on to that one as that ball is just going to go out of bounds. Yeah, we, uh, we look like we're a little nervous about the ball being back there right now. Definitely that uh, the gift of a goal to Stoughton has kind of affected our, uh, our confidence. Um, we definitely just need to get the ball back on the ground, make some good passes, moving it around, and get the confidence back up here very quickly. Ball up in the air. And Fonzo Lopez fighting for it kind of slips there as you pointed out earlier that nighttime dew starting to set in and that ball is going to go out of play. Milton throwing now so opportunity now for the Red Hawks just around 8 minutes to go still plenty of time but you can definitely feel that time is starting to run out here that they got to at least do something but they got to be at least creative with their passes. Bad touch there however good job though shielding Andrew Thomas uh, that Stoughton player. Xander plays it Nice little touch around the middle. And now Stoughton regains control. That's got to be one of those opportunities for forwards. you got to be willing to sacrifice yourself a little bit in the air, get up for that ball, win those 50-50 ones on the header. Even if you're only getting that flick on to a teammate, that's the important touch that we've got to be making now. Good little touch there by Stoughton's number 19, and now Stoughton looking for something. Good job there by Gerard getting... Uh, foot on the ball. Ooh, number nine with Stoughton. Creating some problems. Good step though by Xander. Another good step there by Kyle Larson there. Now Stoughton just starting to just kind of pass it around right now. Grayson's going to win it. Nice little pass, but uh, kind of a gift that's going to go out of bounds throw in for the Red Hawks good job though by the Milton players stepping up though on defense and at least getting up right away trying to get at least uh, not letting Stoughton get any possession here as uh, Gerard trying to force number 19 off the ball gets around the guy good oh, job nice. there it was a nice little cut back he just kind of lulled him into thinking he had a chance and then cut it back I love it well, this nice little counter they got going here with a lot of speed. If we can hit the split on the diagonal here, oh, it was there. I'm a big fan of Coach Wagner's post on Facebook, and uh, just recently, that's the most uh, that's the most recent post that he's had in regards to the, our defense, and that if we can hit that diagonal pass to the diagonal run and split their defense, we could be very dangerous. Ooh, and that is going to be a throw in for Milton. That's kind of a gift there, I feel like. But if you're Milton, you definitely got to take advantage of this.
Oh, and he's on the ground and he's playing it. And they're going to give that to Stoughton. That's, a, that's an interesting call. Is uh, He's on the ground with Fani's face right in the ball, and he's uh, playing it on the ground. It's already a dangerous play, but, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that should be uh, Stoughton's ball there. We're just stopping the time here. The ref is handling what situation. And, Hall, just to let you know, you don't have to sugarcoat anything. If you don't agree with the call, just let the – viewers at home know I highly doubt that ref is going to listen to the game so if you yeah. hurt his feelings go for it Stoughton's got it now works it back to number five that ball is going to go out of play just around five minutes to go now Logan pushes it up but they got a lot of guys back there yeah, and our uh, our offense needs to be up on those last guys. They're ready to ready to roll off and find that uh, find that pass. Fani right there. Oh, Good that's little, a great little touch. yeah. That's gonna be a corner kick for the Red Hawks. Hey, this is an opportunity that they need right now. Yeah, absolutely. They're, the one corner kick that they had early didn't work out too well. I'll we'll have to see what they do here. Looks like they're playing it right in the box. Oh, and that's just not a good one. The keeper was right there. Yeah, and Logan Servant would have liked a little bit more on that kick there. He wanted it delivered up. Ooh. That ball is going to be a throw in for Stoughton. Fani gets it, works it towards the middle. Got time to dribble. Plays it through. Ooh, definitely a uh, nice little move there by Andrew Thomas, but the keeper holding on to it for as long as he can, just letting the time tick away. That's one thing that this keeper's done a good job at. It's just wasting time. And now he's going to give it. Logan pushes it up right away. And now Stoughton has it. Now it looks like they're going to just try to dribble out as much as they can. Pushes it to the other side. Ooh, yeah. good little turn there by number five. Grayson, however, Grayson went. Grayson Hammer in yeah. the back there. He just never stopped with the play. He stayed with them the whole time. And. He kept his cool and was able to get the ball back. Gonna flick it ahead here. I just don't know if Andrew Thomas has the speed yeah. to get past that one guy. I think probably should try keeping it on the ground there. And Stoughton's definitely looking to hit the ball long, burn off some time for those throw-ins. It's a nice little play there. Megged him on the pass. Logan goes to put it in. Oh, this is an opportunity. Oh, it's a little bit too long. And now it's going to be around two minutes to go here. Probably one last opportunity, I feel like, for the Red Hawks to win this ball back and try at least at least tying the game up. If you're a Milton player, how would you feel about ha leading at halftime and then end up giving away the goal on an iffy PK and then... Uh, an own goal that probably shouldn't have happened. Probably not going to be a lot of happy campers tonight if the score stays the same. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things that's going to be a little bit of a sour note because it's those little mistakes that can sometimes change the entire game. And nobody likes those mistakes. They happen. Um, in a lot of ways, Milton's feeling like they had more possession. Um, they may have played a little bit prettier soccer. But really, when you make those mistakes, that doesn't matter. Um, you just have to be more consistent. And now you're starting to see Milton kind of push up more a little bit with it. Kyle flicks it on. And number five is going to get it, and he's just going to push it up. Good little clearance there as we just got one minute to go. Xander pushes it up. 
Fani's got it right in front of the 18, rips the shot, and that's going to go over. Fani's had some good opportunities between the 18 and 25 or so, and some good shots that he's tried to take in here. He's just been a little off on the mark. Now you're going to have just around 30 seconds, and you can tell definitely wasting as much time as they can. Going to give it up right around half field here. Maybe one last opportunity for the Red Hawks to do something with it here. See what they got. They're going to have to go up line here with it. Ball is going to be headed out. Oh, oh that, that like. yep, that's going to be a yellow card right there. Yeah, well, he's got to stop the time if he's going to whistle that. Now he's got to reset the clock a few seconds if he's going to whistle it. Didn't get any time back yeah. on that. Yeah. I mean, Stoughton gets a little slap on the wrist, but really that works out for their benefit. Oh, and that's going to go off Andrew Thomas, and that's probably going to be, yep, that's going to be the end of the game. Stoughton is able to escape with a W. Yep, so the uh, Stoughton Vikings come away with a 2-1 win over the Milton Red Hawks here. Um, thanks for joining us tonight for another Red Hawk media production. and uh, We I'm will see you for Oregon then for on senior night. So hopefully Milton's able to figure out a couple of things, uh, get a couple of guys back from injury. I know Andrew Vaghi definitely will heal up at some point, and uh, hopefully it will be a competitive contest for Oregon. All right, we'll see you.